Hello everybody and welcome back to my Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Let's Play. Let's continue, shall we? Well now, you may have to blur that, I don't know. Might be able to... I don't know. Should I blur that? No, it should be fine. Sure took your time. I was in the shower. What do you got? I got nothing. Dead end. Impossible to ID the page marker found in the book from the restaurant. It's got a series of numeric codes written on it, but it just looks like a lot of numbers to me. I, I thought you might have some ideas. Why don't you fax it to me? I wasn't tired anyway. I'm sure it'll make for good bedtime reading. Okay, I'll send it now. If you get any brainstorms, give me a ring. I'll be here for a while. Tonight's gonna be a long one. Okay, talk to you later, Tyler. Normally, I don't like leaving Sam home alone, especially now. But this bookmark had me intrigued. I had a gut feeling that I was holding the key that would identify our killer. I felt like I was closing in on him, and I wasn't about to go home to sleep until I figured out what this paper meant. Real quickly, I'm just going to get Carla to put on some clothes. I'm not going to have her just standing out in the uh, middle of her living room in her underwear. So, yep, put on some clothes, Carla. Yeah, good. Look presentable in case you get a unexpected visitor. Anyway, back to Tyler. Oh man, nothing but stock quotes. How can anyone possibly decipher these things? They are... Wait a minute! That's it! I gotta call Carla right away! Hello? It's a list of stock quotes, Carla. Our bookmark was printed in a bank. Of course! It's so obvious. How'd you figure that out? I opened the paper to the stock quotes page and it was, it was right under my nose the whole time. Now we just have to figure out which bank printed it. Can you fax me the bookmark? I think I have an idea. I'll call you right back. Who could that be at this hour? Not expecting anyone.
I was feeling kind of bored and thought as my official friendly neighbor you'd agree to share my boredom and this excellent bottle of French Chablis. In my capacity as your friendly neighbor, I wouldn't think of refusing your boring invitation or your excellent wine, Tommy. I imagine that even a die-hard bachelorette like yourself must have some wine glasses around here somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> I think I do have some. Somewhere. Sit down, Tommy. I'll find him. A toast? All right. What to? To love. What else? I'll drink to that. Are you with anyone? Well, actually, I did meet someone two weeks ago. He's very real and very nice. And he works in a bank, too. I think this time it could turn into something serious. I'm happy to see you got your smile back. We all have our ups and downs, right? I always thought that people in New York didn't give a damn about gayness. They were so enlightened. How wrong I was. They still look at us as being different from so-called normal folks. Are you still single? What's a beautiful girl like you waiting for? Go find yourself a nice guy. If there's one thing New York has lots of, it's handsome men. I don't know. I guess the desire is just not there. My last romantic experiences were total disasters. I'm not ready for anything, or anyone, just yet. Enough small talk. Look at what I brought. Tarot cards? I'm going to read your future. <laughs> you mean you know how to use those things? My grandmother was a psychic. She taught me how to read the cards when I was just a kid. She handed down her seeing powers to me. It really works, you know. What the cards foretell always come to pass. Let's see if you're going to meet your true soulmate or if you're going to die as a wrinkled old maid. <laughs> okay, Mr. Gypsy. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. It's easy. First, take the cards and mix them up. Take two cards. I don't think it really matters which cards I pick, because I'm pretty sure they're going to be the same either way. So, just picking two at random. There we go. There's going to be a dark period, an escape, and terrible danger. Take two more cards. You're not alone. You're following someone and he is disturbing. He hides a heavy secret. Take two more cards, please. There is a curse. Great suffering and fear. 
I see dark death and distress. Yes, just come to me whenever you need cheering up. Seriously, I'm sorry, Carla. This is not turning out to be as much fun as I thought. It's okay, Tommy. Let's see what horrors my destiny holds for me. Here are two more cards. One child, two destinies, a path toward life, the other path toward death. Carla, I think we'll stop there. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. I, it's the first time I've ever read this sort of thing in the cards. Usually don't express anything like this. Don't apologize, Tommy. It's just a silly game. I never believed in fortune telling anyway. Well, I've got to get home. It's late. Hey, since when are you interested in investments? It's about one of my investigations. I thought maybe you could help me with a question I have. I was wondering, is there a way to identify a bank from a list of stock quotes that they've printed? From your facts, no. But normally the original document is printed on watermarked paper, showing a numeric ID code identifying the bank. The ID code is printed on a watermark? All right, I'll check our document to see. Thanks, Tommy. Good night. Good night, Carla. That's it. I've got to call Tyler. Yeah? Our bookmark should be watermarked with the bank's ID code. I'll check it out and call you right back. I found it. Tyler? I've got the code. You should have no trouble identifying which bank it corresponds to. This time we've got our killer. I think I'll pay a little visit to the bank tomorrow. You want me to go? No, I'd rather go myself if you don't mind. I'd like to see what our boy looks like. We'll meet afterwards at the station and compare notes. See you tomorrow, Tyler. Okay, see you then, Carla.
bad actually. I only messed up once there during that whole sequence. Sorry I didn't say anything during that. The story haunted me all night long. I had to see him, to talk to him. I had to find out what Agatha had told him. I wanted to look my brother in the eye and hear the truth. I'd never been to his apartment before, and it took me some time to find it. Like I was saying, sorry I didn't say much during that whole thing. I was concentrating real hard not to mess that up, and like I said, I only messed up once, so Lucas Kane. Not too That's bad. it. So yeah. Anyway. Lucas? Lucas, open the door! Lucas! I could swear that I heard a scream coming from inside. The doorman said Lucas was at home, but he isn't opening. Lucas is in danger. I've got no other choice. And that's how my story ends. Officially, they called it a suicide. Wait, I'd never what? find out the truth ah, about what I, really I, happened what? to me in that restaurant oh, fuck on off. a cold January night. Try that shit again, I guess. It's this door, isn't it? Over here. Yeah. The tenants' names are on the bells. No, Lucas doesn't live here. Lucas Kane. That's it. <laughs> Lucas? Lucas, open the door! Lucas! I could swear that I heard a scream coming from inside. The doorman said Lucas was at home, but he isn't opening. Lucas is in danger. I've got no other choice. Lucas, for God's sake, have you lost your mind? What's come over you? The walls, the walls were blown away, and the wind, the tempest, I... Why did you do this, Lucas? Why? Somebody tried to kill me. For heaven's sake, Lucas. There's no one else here but you and I. You were all alone when I arrived. All alone, Lucas. What's happening to me, Marcus? I don't know what's happening. It'll be all right, Lucas. Everything will be fine. I'm gonna help you. You'll see. I finally convinced Marcus to let me go out. I'd slept most of the day, and he'd stayed to watch over me. I needed to get out and get back in touch with reality. My physical condition was deteriorating rapidly. My mental state wasn't much better. I could feel myself slipping away. I knew that it wouldn't be long before I lost it. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. The police, they found me. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!